Next Week in Wolfboro is underwritten by the Downtown Grill Cafe. The Downtown Grill Cafe is located at 33 Main Street in beautiful Wolfboro, New Hampshire, with a fantastic view of Lake Winnipesaukee and Cape Park. Hours of operations are daily from 7 a.m. until 3 p.m. For more information about this underwriter, check out the website, www.downtowngrill.cafe. Welcome to Next Week in Wolfboro. I am your host, Jack Larson. We are coming to you from the Wolfboro Community Television Studios, where we bring your community to view. We say thank you to our friends at the Downtown Girl Cafe for underwriting Next Week in Wolfboro. It is through the support of underwriters and donors like you that programs like this are possible on Wolfboro Community Television. If you would like to underwrite a program for Wolfboro Community Television, please contact our producers at 569-0219. We also want you to let your friends from and family from out of town know they can watch this program on Facebook or YouTube. Once you're logged into either Facebook or YouTube, just search for Wolfboro Community Television and you'll find us on Next Week in Wolfboro. Let's start right out with a report from the Chamber of Commerce. Mary DeVries is at the train station to give us her report. We're sending it over to you, Ms. DeVries. Hi and welcome to Next Week in Wolfboro. My name is Mary. Happy New Year! Hey, I hope you had a great time during the holidays. And here we are in January 2022, and we're so thankful that there's still lots of activities in Wolfboro, some weather dependent, so get out and do some cross-country skiing, get over to Pop Whale and Arena and Abenaki if you can, or enjoy that, or just to do some people watching, that's always a fun thing over at Abenaki. Uh, the Lakes Region Curling Association has started their curling this week. Uh, lakesregioncurling.com if you want to get involved with that. Everyone's invited to join them. It takes place at the Pop Whale and Arena. And the Wolfboro Area Farmers Market continues this time Saturday, January 8th from 10 to 1 inside the Brookfield Town Hall. A uh, couple other things that are ongoing. So we have such a gem, many gems, but the Governor Wentworth Arts Council, they have lots of people from the local communities involved, and you may have seen some of their exhibits by individual artists around town. So that's what um, they offer us. It's just wonderful. You can see their, their artwork in different venues. And right now there is an exhibit going on at Meredith Village Savings Bank in Wolfboro. Uh, you do not have to be a client of that institution to go in and see the exhibit. Uh, they'll welcome everyone and it's ongoing. You have a couple months there. So just drop by and see what the Governor Wentworth Arts Council is up to there. Uh, Maker's Mill in Wolfboro. They have, um, it's not for a little bit, it's in April, the first ever upcycle fashion show. But we're talking about it now because leading up to then, there are classes that are being offered at Maker's uh, Mill, pardon me, open to the public. So you can uh, go to makersmill.org or wolfboroughchamber.com and find that information on the events page. Or as always, give us a call here, 569-2200, and we'll be glad to help you. So, all right, so again, get out and have some fun or stay in and be cozy. And don't forget to shop, dine, and have fun in your town. See you next time. Thank you, Mr. Reese. Here are some other things we would like to share with you, starting with Applications for an absentee ballot for the March 8th elections are now available at the town clerk's office. Friday, January 7th, the Kingswood Knights boys basketball team will play the Kennett High School team at 6.30 p.m. in the Kingswood Main Gym. On Monday, January 10th, the Kingswood Regional High School girls basketball team will play the Sanborn High School team at 6 o'clock p.m. in the Kingswood Main Gym. On Tuesday, January 11th, the Wolfboro Public Library provides Toddler Time Story Hour at 10.30 a.m. For more information, please call the Children's Librarian, Ms. Jeannie, at 569-2428. The Wolfboro Public Library Second Tuesday of the Month book group will discuss the book, The Lions of Fifth Avenue, by Fiona Davis, at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. 
Mike Babylon at the Wolfboro Public Library has started a new program called Tech Tuesdays on Tuesday afternoons from 2 until 4 o'clock. He will be available to help you with your computer, laptops, and other device questions. If he doesn't already have the answer to your question, he will learn with you to resolve your computer problems. That's from 2 to 4 on Tuesday afternoons. Wednesday, January 12th. The Kingswood Regional High School girls hockey team will play the St. Thomas girls hockey team in the Pop Whalen Ice Arena at 7.30 p.m. The Wolfboro Public Library Elementary Book Chat and Craft will take place at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The Wolfboro Public Library Young Adult and Teen Book Chat and Craft program will also take place at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. On Thursday, January 13th, the Wolfboro Public Library provides preschool story hour at 10.30 a.m. For more information, please call the Children's Librarian, Ms. Jeannie, at 569-2428. A little farther out on Wednesday, January 19th, the Wolfboro Public Library Children's Librarian, Ms. Jeannie, will host an art program with lessons for kids ages 7 and up. Advanced sign-up is required. For more information, please call 569-2428. Two four two eight. Okay, let's send it over to the Parks and Recreation Department for an update on upcoming programs and activities. Recreation Director Christine Collins is at her desk. We're sending it over to you, Christine Collins. Thanks, Jack. Christine Collins here from Wolfboro Parks and Recreation and just want to share what we have going on. So, we are pleased to say that Abenaki is now open. We were able to open on December 26th. Um, we were a little nervous. Um, some of you may be aware we did have a snowmaking expansion project happen. So that was more November, uh, beginning of December. Um, we're still doing a little bit of work on that. So what happened was Friends of Abenaki gave a generous donation. They did some fundraising for us and they were able to get um, an expansion of our snowmaking system. What that means is we were actually able to pipe, uh, put some piping up and across so for our snowmakers um they're they have guns and they have to drag them all over the hill and there's hoses and they have to roll it up in some situations it's not conducive to have those hoses across the hill while people are skiing so we can't make the snow because they put these piping in we're now able to make snow on some trails while other trails are still open um, but that is dependent on cold and humidity so I know sometimes people are questioning like why didn't you make snow but for us we have a special chart we have to look at and the humidity has a lot to do with it perfect example is we've made snow two nights in a row the first night we had some good snow uh, but the humidity was a little higher than we liked the second night we made snow the humidity was a lot lower and we made three times the amount of snow so it is a little science to it and we have a great crew working at it um, we're happy to say they were able to make a ton of snow these past few day nights and so we're hopeful by next week we're going to have twister up and running in the rest of our trails but they are outside pushing the snow right now so like I said, Abenaki's open. The COVID policies we have in place for that is really just that the lodge is not open for dining right now. Um, right now we're utilizing it for ski rentals. We didn't have ski rentals last year, so we do have ski rentals. And if you need to use the restroom, you can go in there. We are also um, have concessions. We're serving it from the outside window and ticket sales, you'll get that from the outside too. You can get season passes or day passes and there's no restrictions on um, resident, non-resident, in out of state or whatever so anyone can come uh, and then pop whalen is in full swing we have hockey games now um, so it does limit some of our capability I think on the weekends when we have a lot of hockey games so we're trying to plug in some public skate times anytime we can uh, and stick practices so be patient with us we haven't really um, published a written schedule and that's only because when we have weather that doesn't uh, cooperate with us we have to reschedule hockey games and things get canceled and so it is best if we just work with the schedule that's online versus having printed material because if something goes out there you grabbed it on a Tuesday but we updated it on a Thursday you might not have the most up-to-date information so it's always a good idea to check our website last week we had vacation week so typically our public skate does not fill up uh, during the week but last week because of vacation week we had uh, a lot of um, people on the wait list we tried to get them in but you just want to be aware it's a good idea 
If you don't want to pre-register, at least check to see how many people are signed up because if it's close, close to the wait list, you might, or close to the capacity, you might be put on a wait list or you might not get in. And keeping that in mind, we do have limited sizes for skate. So for some people, if they're trying to get a skate rental, they might not be able to if we're already at full capacity. Um, what else do we have? So we do have some programs up and coming. We are working on getting stuff on the website. So you definitely want to check there. Um, and that's it. We would love to see you out here. Our crew has been working hard making snow, getting our ice up to where it needs to be. And it's this time of year is nice for us at Parks and Rec just because in the summer, we don't really have a lot of people rolling through here. We have people using the trails, but not really our facilities. So in the winter, we have a whole group using the facilities. So it is pretty busy here. Um, but that's all we have for now. We hope to see you soon. Back to you, Jack. Thank you, Christine Collins. Joyce Davis is at the Wolfboro Public Library with the new IT person, Mike Babylon. We're sending over to you, Joyce Davis. Thanks, Jack. So we have lots of library news for you this week. Our new director, Amanda King, came on board. She's excited about starting her new job and looking forward to meeting library patrons and members of the community. She spent her first week meeting one-on-one -on -one with all the staff and meeting some of the folks at Town Hall. On the second Monday of each month, we will be offering free coffee and donuts from 10 a.m. to noontime to library visitors. We hope you'll stop in to chat with the staff, meet our library director, read a magazine, browse the new books, and check out your library. Everyone is welcome. Our winter story time session is underway once again. We host toddler time Tuesdays at 1030 and preschool story hour Thursdays at 1030. We recommend that you sign up in advance. Did you know that Jeannie Snowden, our children's librarian, is also an art teacher? She'll be giving an art lesson to kids age seven and up and help them create a special art project. This will happen Wednesday, January 19th from 4 to 5.30. Advanced sign up is required. Now I'd like to introduce you to our new IT coordinator, Mike Babylon, who'll fill you in about a new library service he'll be offering. Thank you, Joyce. Uh, as Joyce said, my name is Mike Babylon. I work IT here in the library, and I'm proud to announce we're instituting a thing called Tech Tuesdays. Tuesday afternoons from 2 to 4, you can come in, and if you have a problem with your laptop or other device and you'd like me to help you with it, I'd be glad to do that. Through my work in the library here, I've learned an awful lot about computers, especially Windows 10. I've really learned my way about Windows 10 and around Windows 10, and I can show you all kinds of things. For instance, if your laptop is having problems slowing down or other malfunctions, I can show you how to open up Task Manager and kind of look under the hood in your computer and see just exactly what's going on, and we can figure out how to make it run much better. Also. Have you ever saved a file and then a few days later you can't find the file? That happens even in the library here. I will show you a program called File Explorer where we can see just where all your files are stored. As a matter of fact, I can show you how to store your files in the cloud and then you won't lose them even if your computer dies. Also, I can show you how to use your browser. A browser nowadays is a very sophisticated tool and could do all kinds of things. There's many settings that you can change on that browser to make it more secure, and I'd love to show you how to do that. I can also show you how to find many websites that you probably don't even know are there. You can bookmark them, and then you can visit them whenever you like. I'd also like to show you how you can use Google to solve all kinds of problems. And I don't just mean computer problems. You got a leaky faucet, can't get a plumber to answer your phone call? I can show you how to use Google to tell you how to fix that faucet for free. Also, let's talk about some of the things we have in the library here. We offer Libby and Hoopla, a way to get ebooks and audiobooks, and Hoopla can even get movies broadcast to your TV, just like Netflix, except for free. I'll show you how to get those applications and how to use them. Also, you've probably logged into the library website, and it kind of looks like a newsletter. But do you know you can actually get an account and log into that website and do all kinds of things? If you had an account, which we can set you up with here in the library, and you may already have the username and password and just never used it, 
you can log into that website and you can browse our library catalog and see what books and DVDs we have. And you can do that even when the library is closed. You can see what books you have checked out and you can renew those books even when the library is closed. And my favorite thing about the library website, which you may or may not know, is you can log into a thing called LinkedIn. That has hundreds of courses in there that are absolutely for free for you. The library pays for that so that you can use those courses for free. And frankly, I use the computer courses in there all the time. They're very professionally produced, and usually the instructor is a Microsoft professional. So I think you would really enjoy those courses. So I just want to reiterate, that's on Tuesdays from 2 to 4. You can drop in, and I'll help you with your computer problem or connect your device to one of those services I spoke about or whatever you need. If I don't know the answer to your problem, I'll do some research, and I will find it. If Tuesdays 2 to 4 does not work for you, just call up the library, ask for Mike, and we'll make an appointment when you can come in at another time. That's all I have for now. Back to you, Jack. Thank you, Mr. Babylon and Joyce Davis. Pastor Justin Marbury from Calvary Wolfboro will round out our program today. We're sending it over to you, Pastor Justin. Hello, everyone. Uh, Justin Marbury here, coming to you from 43 Mill Street in downtown Wolfboro, where Calvary Wolfboro, the uh, local church as we are, gathers uh, every Sunday at least and uh, for other things as well. Um, it is winter, and uh, right now, actually, as we record this, it's uh, a combination of snow and rain outside. But uh, it is, it's nice and dry in here, and um, Josh isn't able to be here with me today, but I will do my best to let you know about things going on uh, with us as a church. This week, this Sunday, for our typical Sunday gathering at 10 a.m. here in the auditorium where I am, uh, we will be starting uh, a new study in the, the book of Hebrews. So we're going to be going through the entire book together in a, in a, a, a participatory kind of Bible study uh, with, with some, some teaching and some opportunity for a congregational response. We're all, as a church, going to be doing it together, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, all are welcome to join us for that, that 10 a.m. Uh, Sunday gathering every Sunday. Uh, and then the following uh, January 13th, of, of next week, Thursday, from 6 to 8 p.m., we have a pasta bar dinner that will be ho uh, happening here at 43 Mill Street for Anchored Youth, for our youth group. And um, this is uh, to uh, raise support for the uh, winter retreat that's coming up next month in February. So if you'd like to uh, come out uh, maybe for a uh, fun time, it's going to be good food, uh, and, and for a good cause. It's simply by donation. Come next Thursday, again, 6 to 8, and support uh, the youth of our, our community and uh, their upcoming uh, winter retreat at Berea. We also have ne uh, next Saturday, the 15th, is our uh, monthly Cafe Abide for you ladies. Uh, this is uh, a time that will be in the Calvary Cafe, which is at the other end of our building from where I am right now. And this is uh, for you, ladies, just a time to, to meet other women, to connect, a time of fellowship, uh, an informal uh, coffee hour, so to speak. And, and so come and, and bring a friend and maybe meet someone new, connect with other, other believers in, in our community. Uh, beyond that, there is always the uh, possibility that things come up that things are going on at the last minute. Uh, and so we, I, I encourage you to sign up for the, the Calvary uh, Weekly Update. We call it the CW Update, which is a, a weekly email that goes out. Uh, in order to uh, sign up for the update, just go to our website where you'll find information on uh, that as well as other ways to connect with us as a church. We have an app. Uh, if you go to the App Store and just type in Calvary Wolfboro, you will see our app, and in that, on your phone, you will be able to keep up to date with all the things going on. Hope that you are enjoying this winter, this beginning of winter, January. I hope that uh, you are um, seeking the Lord. He is never far from us, and He loves it when we seek Him and when we um, are in His Word, 
in the scriptures. And we're in fellowship with other brothers and sisters in Christ uh, as local gatherings of the saints. Until next time, have a great week. And with that, I'll send it back to the studio. Thank you, Pastor Justin, and thank you for tuning in to our weekly program. Remember, there is always something to do in and around Wolfboro. If you would like to add an event to our program, please contact Wolfboro Community Television Station at 569-0219 and send an email to wctv25 at gmail.com. We hope to see you out and about, and we look forward to seeing you next week. With clear eyes and full hearts, I am Jack Larson for Workbell Community Television, bringing your community to view.